Hello surgery peeps. I almost didn't make a video today. I don't know. I was tired. I have, a, have been really weak today. But then I realized today is my one week surgery. Yay! I have one week in my rear view mirror is my vertical sleeve gastrectomy. And here I am. Now I will say yesterday I got all my protein and all my beverages plus for the first time and that was awesome and it was particularly awesome because we made one protein shake that was a sample that I got from Vita Lady. It, I wanted to try the Nectar Cappuccino. don't know what I was thinking. I should realize that a flavor like cappuccino can be really fake and disgusting tasting even at the best of times and this is not the best of times. This is heightened uh, taste buds <laughs> and inability to process much artificial sweetener. Um, it tasted like cinnamon, a weird kind of dark, bitter cinnamon, and it's thin. The, the nectar things are thin, which means that they're allowed during the clear phase, although I'm not, I'm not just relegated to the thin ones, I think. I'm, I'm allowed to have any protein shake plus clear liquids. Um, it was so hard to swallow. I mean... Luckily, it was only eight ounces of beverage, and the thing is, is it had 36 grams of protein in it, so I really wanted to get it down, and it was one of those grit your teeth and do it things, so I did do that, and um, I slept well last night, I slept really well, because I've had some nights of insomnia since the surgery where I just was up. Now, luckily, as someone that's self-employed and works from home, I could just go with that and just stay up and you know, watch YouTubes and read the forum and then just sleep when sleep came. I'm lucky that way. If you have to go to work, it doesn't work out so well. Um, but when I woke up today, I was very weak. I mean, so weak that talking was taxing. People who called, it was taxing to even say some words. And then when I did talk on the phone, I had to lay back so the bed would support my arm. It, not characteristic of the days up till now, so I made a series of phone calls. I really wasn't too worried because I know I'm hydrated. Um, it just seemed like I'm not eating enough. I mean, seriously, why, 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 Dr. Fang, did you put me on clears and protein drinks when all of the literature and my pre-op stuff that I got said full liquids? I am sure there's nothing wrong with me that a little cottage cheese wouldn't wouldn't solve. Now, it did occur, occur to me that I think I forgot to mention one thing when I was in the hospital. I mentioned may have mentioned it briefly that the morning I left the hospital, I briefly was about to be kept for another day because my I think my hematocrit or some aspect of my CBC showed me to be anemic and to have changed dramatically from the day before because you know they come into the room like clockwork at 6 a.m. and take your blood every day and do that CBC and he was concerned that perhaps I had some seepage from the staple line not a leak because they tested for that thoroughly but uh, some seepage slow seepage and if I showed another low result or lower result on the stat CBC he was about to order that I'd be given two units of blood and kept overnight again. However, my result was normal, so they let me go. Now, the day when I was really weak, it occurred to me, you know, I, I better check into this. Unfortunately, I call my surgeon's office because, of course, he knows all this. And his nurse was on vacation. Of course, I don't know if you've heard me mention before, I kind of feel like she's always on vacation. He needs a different one. But anyway, so they put, and he was in surgery because he does surgery on Mondays. Hello, I know that. And um, so when the, gen, when, when the nurse replacement for his nurse called me back, she said, Dr. Fang said, please see or talk to your GP today, to Dr. Young. Dr. Young and my surgeon are in the same office for a few days a week, so he, they know each other. So they have good communication. And she was the one that went to bat for me and saved my surgery when it looked like it would be canceled. So, doctor, I, I finally got through to her just before she left for the day, and she called me, and I told her a lot of stuff that to help her assess. I told her, you know, I've gotten my protein, I've gotten my fluids, I don't have a fever, I don't have a cough, the cold is completely gone. 
I have had a little bit of diarrhea each day, but I mean, it's it's like a little bit of bird poop. What can I say? I mean, there isn't anything in there to make anything. So um, she said that seems okay as long as it wasn't like propellant fluids. You know, I'm not losing a lot of fluid. And she did tell me to drink more today. But she said to just kind of watch and wait. Now tonight I've realized I never told her about that whole thing with the CBC and the seepage possibility. I, I think that was kind of a major piece to leave out. So I'm going to send a message to each one of them tonight explaining you know, what I did and what I left out. And just make sure. I feel better tonight, um, but still kind of weak. I mean, I, I figured on day seven I'd be a little further out than this. At the same time, you remember, you guys, and especially newbies who are about to have the surgery or thinking about the surgery, I have fibromyalgia. Do not judge what's happening to me necessarily with what's happening to you or will happen to you because fibromyalgia is a real unknown factor in almost anything in my life where it can, it can make things, it never makes things better. I will say that's not unknown. But it can make almost anything a little bit worse. Any reaction, it can cause reactions in itself with aching. I had a fibro day already this week, but it wasn't that bad. And I know that my fibromyalgia will improve once I get this weight off. That's kind of a, a no-brainer. Everything will improve. So that's kind of on my mind. But at the same time, like I, I feel so much better in every other way. I, I can drink now. I can't gulp, of course. We're never going to be able to do that. But I can definitely sip, sip, sip. Get four ounces down during, you know, when the timer rings, I can safely drink four ounces of something and then wait and do another four ounces. I've been sipping the wonderful broth of my darling husband tonight then just sipping it. Now, today was the day I felt like, duh, if there's something I know I'm going to drink all of, like this broth or like a certain protein shake, I'll measure it beforehand, and then when it's gone, I'll write down those fluids instead of pouring the little cups. I was, um, with the unknown of water, I will pour the little cups because I'm not safe enough to take, you know, a 32-ounce thing of water and know that I'm going to drink it for sure today. But all, all in all, I, I'm almost at my 64 ounces, and I'll keep going this evening. We're watching Goodbye Mr. Chips again tonight. We watched it last night, the one from 1969 with Peter O'Neill and Petula Clark. O'Toole. Peter O'Toole. I said O'Neill, huh? Peter O'Toole. Mm. And it's wonderful. It's just this wonderful love story like me and my darling. But uh, except for she died in the war and she never found out he made Headmaster. Oh, anyway. <laughs> We love it. So we're watching it again tonight. Um, I feel more human, I guess I could say. Um, the interesting thing was I got these sounds and feelings that I thought was sure were over here in my stomach today. But yet I know there's no stomach there. So that that's kind of strange. And that's something I wanted to report. Um, the other thing is I did have an aha moment last night. You know, because I've, one of my reasons for doing these YouTubes is that I want to give back to other people what has been given to me by this wonderful community. And I'm a person that studies and learns and wants to know something, and I felt like I had learned so much, so much about the vertical sleeve gastrectomy. But there is that hurdle that you make. When you cross the divide to the, to the other side, and you've had the vertical sleeve gastrectomy, oh, it really doubles your knowledge. No matter how much I knew, I now know how, what it feels like to have that inside of my body. And the thing that came up for me last night is I know everybody always says, did you have any regrets? I can say that even on the worst day, I never thought, oh my gosh, I wish I didn't do this. Never, because I wanted it so much. I, was ne I knew I would never feel that, and I didn't. But because... Well, all that stuff your brain knows, your body doesn't know any of it. No, uh-uh. Your body doesn't even know. Your body goes in there completely innocent to what you're about to do. So I think what you feel in those first two days, at least for me, was like your body is saying, WTF, what the, what have you done, you know? It's not my brain saying that. It's my body saying, what have you done to me? And how are we going to get out of this, girl? 
And so when those things collided, that, that can be uncomfortable. It could have you crying in the shower, you know, especially if you can't get anything down and everything makes you puke. I mean, that's really not how you envisioned this, you know. So I expect a few more tears, too, as the days wane on with my clear liquids. And I'm actually going to ask my doctor if the seepage issue was the reason he did this. And uh, I know I, I, I feel positive. I think I look better and feel better. Uh, I'm not, I think I've lost five pounds since I weighed in the pre-op room. I think that. But I realize also that I'm not as focused on my weight as I am on healing, 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 and get, you know, moving forward to where I have energy and participate in life again, get back in the pool again. And I know I'll lose the weight. I mean, you know, I've only got a stomach this big. Anyway, if you have any questions, please ask them. Um, smile for a while. I think that's your screen name. It's always so hard for you to remember. I know you had your surgery today, and I'm, I was thinking about you all day. I didn't know exactly what the time difference was, so I just prayed during the day on and off. And I'd love to hear when we find out that things are okay with you. So I will be making another video again really soon because there was somebody I really wanted to say something to and I can't remember who it was. Oh well. Bye-bye.